definitely an honor to be the Grand Marshal, especially for this Filipino Centennial event. And I want to thank all of you for all the love and support. And, you know, I will continue to represent the Filipinos wherever I go. And I'm so proud to be Filipino. So, mabuhay! Ladies and gentlemen, Jasmine Trias! One more question for Jasmine for the benefit of our audience here. What's next for Jasmine Trias? What do you expect from you next? Well, I'm going to be recording a second album, and I'm slowly getting into movies and acting. Um, this next trip, I'm going to be going to San Francisco, and I'm going to be attending the American Idol finale, so you will see me there. And I will be doing a tour of the U.S. bases in Japan. So that's going to be my first time in Japan. I'm so excited. And... Uh, so many big projects coming up for this year. I'm very excited. Uh, our best wishes to you, Jasmine. Thank Larry, you for so joining much. us today. Larry, Larry, bring her so they can see her on this side. Of course. Yeah. We want to see you all over. I would like to say thank you to Lincoln Jacoby, the promoter. How about a big, big round of applause for Lincoln. Lincoln, our, another Filipino. This is him right there. Okay. Young Entrepreneur of the Year, voted by the Filipino Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii, Lincoln Jacoby, promoter of Jasmine Trias. I had the pleasure of being in the Philippines with Jasmine this past January. I mean, everybody went wild. 10,000 people in Manila, 6, 7, 8,000 in Luwag, 5,000 in Cebu. I mean, it was endless. Jasmine, wow. to the people in Hawaii, tell us very quickly your love, your enjoyment. And just your whole thoughts about going back and forth to the Philippines. Well, the trip to the Philippines was definitely a wonderful experience. It was my first time visiting those places like the local store, local store, Cebu, uh, Pangasinan. I can say it now. <laughs> But it was such a great experience to really be in touch with the culture. And after visiting those places and meeting the people, that they were so warm and welcoming. I am just so, so, so proud to say that I'm Filipino. And so wherever I do go in my career, I'm going to carry that flag with me wherever I go. So it's all for you guys. It's all for you. Jasmine, what are your roots, your parents' roots? You should let them know where your parents are. Yes, my dad. Where's my dad? Right yes. here. My dad is from Cavite. And my papa, that's my papa. Oh, papa. That's my grandpa. Hello, and my papa. mom, she's from Sambales. Wow. Oh, who's and that? That's my brother. And he just graduated. He, he's actually graduating tonight. Tonight. He graduated tonight. What high school? UH Lab School. Is he married? Does he look married? Oh, just take ah! single. He's single. Okay. He's very single. Oh, good. Oh, what a handsome boy. <laughs> All you ladies, hands off. Okay, talk to me first. <laughs> Final thoughts, Miss Jasmine, being our parade marshal and part of this centennial celebration. And as I said, bridging the Philippines and Hawaii and the United States all over the world. Yes, well, absolutely. It's definitely an honor. It's just simply such an honor. And I'm just so... So honored to be the Grand Marshal and to be here celebrating the 100 years of Filipinos in Hawaii and to be representing for the Filipinos. And I will continue to be doing that. And, you know, it's all for you. Wherever I go, it's all for you. I'm going to be carrying that flag. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Ladies and gentlemen, Jasmine Trias. Thank you so much. Mabuhay! Thank you, Jasmine, for spending your morning with us. This year, ladies and gentlemen, is a defining year for many Filipinos here in Hawaii. The first Filipinos came to Hawaii in 1906, working the sugar plantation.